Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Bloomtown, a different story. This game is one that is actually new. It is releasing for various platforms, including Steam and Nintendo Switch and a couple others. I am playing on Nintendo Switch. So this game has, uh, from what I know, a couple of like mixed elements of the like farming genre that I do, but very little I think on that. I think it focuses more so on RPG elements. From what I saw, I'm not too sure. Regardless, it's a game that looked very intriguing, and I definitely want to play it. So before we do that, though, let's go to settings real quick. Um, I don't think I need to actually do anything in here. No, that's all fine. Okay. It's whoops. It's very simple settings. So let's just go to do a new game and get this started. Yeah. So I am doing a blind playthrough of this game, so I'm definitely gonna learn a lot about this. So there's normal and hard. There's no easy. Not that I would do easy. I generally do normal mode. Let's do normal. Okay, so I think if you do plus, you're fast forwarding. And why it's auto off. Emily. Chester, what the hell? Are we there yet? No idea. Now quit waking up your elders with dumb questions. You're not an elder. Mom's an elder, not you. For the summer, you can treat me like one. Like mom said. While you're staying with your grandpa, Emily is in charge. Dad says we're equal. And if Dad hadn't got kicked out, we wouldn't have been sent out here to live all summer. Oh, I get to pick different options. I had that weird dream again with dragons. What the heck? You still thinking about Dad moving out? Why did I have to send... Hmm, this one. Emily, stop reading my mind. Me and Dad were teaching the fish to talk. So we could learn the secrets of the ocean's treasures and get rich. It was a good plan. He's nice. I wish he came back. Me too. Ha. Huh. Because you're a psycho. I'm not a psycho. Isn't that what the doctor said? No, that's not what he said. That doctor was a dummy anyway. I hope Grandpa Cooper sleeps soundly and I won't wake him up. Hmm. Um. What if I select... I'm not surprised. It's because you're a psycho. Maybe I am. But I still want to give myself and the world a chance. Try beating up bushes with a stick. Works for me? Sounds like something a boy would say. Huh. I suppose so, huh? I guess he's old. You think? Probably grumpy and wrinkly like a raisin. And looks like mom. I bet he, bet he beats people with his cane. Just like all old people, right? How did they get that old anyway? I think they must be born that way. I can't believe you and me could become like them. Seriously, I've never seen anyone... I know I ever get older. Not you, not mom, not the neighbors. <laughs> but stop. Bloomtown. This is us. We're getting off. We're there. We're basically there. Hooray, we made it. Alright, let's see how the loading screens are in this game. Um, this one seems not very quick, but if it loads anytime soon in the next couple seconds, yeah, it's not too bad. That's fine. This is it. We have arrived upon lands untouched by civilization. The expedition has begun. Why are you suddenly talking like a dork? Why are you so boring? Oh, Chester. What? Oh, I get to pick my traits here. I have three points available. Okay. Smarts says... Emily's knowledge level helps her answer adult questions. Charm. Emily's charisma level helps her charm people and influence them in conversations. Guts. Emily's courage level helps her make decisions and bold moves. Emily's level of competence helps her do certain things better. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the last three. What, what the heck is this? Fallout? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello there. He's so young. Grandfather is a vampire. I told you we should have brought the stakes. Calm down, Van Helsing. Hi. I'm obviously not your grandfather, but I know. Where did you hide him? You won't squeeze a nickel out of me. Partly since I don't have one. Sorry, do you know where we, where we can find Mr. Cooper? He was supposed to meet us. He's busy, so I came in his place. I'm George, by the way. You must be Emily and Chester. Go ahead, weirdo. Lead us to your creepy village, or skip the pleasantries and shove us into a black Cadillac. What? Bloomtown isn't a village. I'm not a weirdo, and we're going to walk. Sorry, he went two hours in the bus without talking. He's trying to make up for it. 
So where are you guys from? Chicago. <laughs> what, a, what a basic answer. Then I doubt we've got anything here that would interest you. Ah, oh, there on your left. Behold, the self-service laundry and public bathhouse. The crowning jewel of the suburbs. Yeah, it's a dump. Oh, look, there's a dog. Yeah, very classy. This isn't all a balloon town, just a suburb. Give the town a chance. There's even a movie theater up the street. Hmm. That's more like it. Thanks, Jeremy. It's George. Gerald? With jokes like that, you'll be, you'll be friendless in no time, kid. The dialogue is interesting. It has some funny moments. It has some kind, some parts where it's kind of forced, but we'll see. It's overall not bad, though. Hello, Mr. Cooper. Oh, blasted thing. Damn box. It can never just... Ah, oh, hello, George. And who are you? Just kidding. Thanks, George. You can go. Goodbye, Mr. Cooper. See you around, guys. Why is there a dead gnome on the side? It's probably just like a garden statue thing. Hi, Grandpa. Just imagine. I'm not imagining anything. I have a very busy schedule and I don't have the time to imagine things. Inside the house. Now. Wow. That's crazy. So, children. As you'll be living in my house. You'll be following my rules. My tummy is rumbling. I need to eat something too. Oh, fine. Well, they can, or fine, then go to the kitchen and eat something. Hey, Emily, I bet this big old house has lots of secrets. Where do you think we should start? I can't wait to start digging through everything. Hey, I have a big garden in the back that could use an eager young digger like you. We'll see tomorrow how well you can dig. Don't touch anything here without my permission. Oh, I can finally move. Find a hot dog? Find a burger? Hold on. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, if we go to diary, main quest. Okay, a burger and a hot dog. Pretty straightforward. So that's the, the diary, I guess, just shows your quest. Okay. Collections. We got fish and vinyl records. Interesting, okay. Uh, equipment, yes, because like I said, it is an RPG as well, so it's got stuff. Whoa, how come, how come you have the stuff? You have a sword and a gun and Emily's got nothing. Hmm. Okay, items, nothing. Settings, load. How do I save the game? Cause that's just load, I don't wanna load. You can change the difficulty at any point and you can exit the game, but I don't know how to save the game. It doesn't really tell you anything, right? Um, yeah, no, not really. Because if you press A, if you want to load, no, I don't. Okay. Look, Emily, Grandpa even has a phone. Here's a mark of Mom's height at the age of 12. You're above that mark now. But someday I'll be taller than both of you. Mom rarely tells us about her childhood. Do you think it's because it was boring? I don't know. Perhaps we will find out. If we're not going to be too lazy. I'm kind of just exploring and seeing if it lets me, you know, select anything, but... Well, here's a burger. This burger looks delicious. Does Grandpa know how to cook? Huh. And there's a hot dog over here. Look, a hot dog. And I was afraid they'd only have broccoli here or whatever old people eat. You want it? Yeah, I'm starving. So I thought about it and decided you kids will be on the second floor. You can choose your rooms yourselves. Feel free to look around the house, but there hasn't been children here since your mom finished school, so you'll need to clean up around the place. I mean today. I haven't been through those rooms for a long time, there's dust up to my eyebrows. One more rule. By 10 in the evening, everyone is in bed. I'm no spring chicken anymore, I can't go running around after you in the dark. Okay. Search for supplies. Um, can I actually interact with anything else in here? There's a recipe for mom's special pie. All the others are wine recipes. 
Don't open the refrigerator right now. Okay, I probably can't do anything yet then, right? Yeah. Highly doubt it. Okay. Wait, which one did I... Oh, it says call. Tell a number from grandfather... Mom at home? Mom's not home. She's at work. Maybe I'll get her later. The line is busy. Hello? Boontown Brian watched Science and History Museum. How can I help you? Uh... <laughs> we like to think of ourselves as a generalist museum, but we are particularly interested in paleontology and impressionist art. We also collect Native American crafts. We're always on the lookout for more. He's a real false. That's funny, huh? Very well preserved. He might even buy back. That won't do. I'm listening. What are you offering? The heck? My colleague and I want to offer you a unique. So I have like a 42%. Is that what it's saying? To offer you a masterpiece of the great success. Whoa. I'm burning with anticipation. What is it? Um, it was lost. A living dinosaur. I can't believe what I'm hearing. It's a scientific breakthrough, but I think perhaps you're confused or, pardon me, I must, but I must be sure of your knowledge of the morphology and physiology of these ancient creatures. Please tell me, how exactly was your dinosaur born? From an egg? He popped out of his mother alive and, and kicking just like everybody else? Hmm. Yes, well, that's right. But I think you might just be getting lucky. So I have one more question for you. Let's see if you know the dinosaur with the longest neck. Among the known species, of course. Um, what? Isn't it, isn't it like a freaking, um, what is that called? Like a bro, a brontos, Jesus Christ, a, a brontosaurus, right? Um, I don't actually, oh shoot, what? No, but you know what? That, hmm. Like, is this like an actual freaking question that I... I mean, obviously it's not Stegosaurus. What the heck is a Bronto beast? Oh, wait, no, so, or Br Brachiosaurus, right? I mean, I want to say it's this one because I'm not really sure what the heck the top one is. But, because the other one that I also know is like an apod apodosaurus or something like that. Because um, there is a brontosaur. Oh man, I don't know. I, I am going to guess this one. Sadly, I clearly don't know anything about What? We can just accept unverified exhibits. Shoot. Well, it's because, see, I wasn't sure if the game was... So, like, here, here's the thing. There is a Brontosaurus dinosaur that has a long neck. There's also a Brachiosaurus. There's an Apatosaurus. And there's the, Di the Diplo... Diplodicus. I just don't know. Maybe it was the Diplo, but I don't think the Diplo had a longest neck. Doesn't a Brontosaurus have a longer neck? But I guess it's because it was saying Bronto Beast. So, I don't really know. Low chances. Yeah, so I definitely messed it up. Wait, how do I go back? Oh, shoot, I have to do it. Um, okay, I'm not going to read all this verbatim because it's just... Yeah, it's just kind of, it's not important dialogue at all. Damn, I'm, I'm upset that I lost that thing, though. What? Oh, my smarts went up. Um, okay. Quest done, Grandpa's phone. Ask Cooper about the painting. That's another thing to ask about. Check the museum on the, the pawn shop. Or maybe go see 
Ad, Adore? Ad, or, oh wait, 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 maybe go see old Ad, period, sorry. Or paint something yourself. Thank you, Grandpa, to find a painter. Well, that's all good. Uh, let's look at this here. I'm going to paint in the museum. Hmm. It says it's 7 p.m. What, what do you mean? Didn't you say by 10 p.m.? Living on the second floor is so cool. I call the room at the end of the hall, if you say so. Dummy, that just makes it further away from the kitchen. Huh. Well, all right. Sweep the room. Another balloon top mystery, just a closet. Clear the workbench. Looks like a real workshop with the right know-how. You could build anything here. I clear the workbench to collect it. Oh, with my there must be a broom somewhere. There's a broom right here. Give it to me. You better watch out, dust. Well, that's done. Blankets and pillows are waiting for the boys. What is this? I can't do this right now? Oh, okay. There's a chest here. Old textbook, stationary trinkets. A photograph. There's a tree house, some teenagers and a dog. Our new headquarters. Must be so cool to have your old treehouse. I wish I had one too. Plus one photo from the chest. Is that what I needed to do? Probably. I don't know how I get used to this place. Why can't I just be lying on my bed at home? Mom is just being selfish. Says she sent us away because of work. Yeah, right. We're already missing dad. But I'd rather be sad at home than here. What am I ever going to do here all summer? Um. Yeah. No. Ew. <laughs> what? Going downstairs with my brother. Hello, Emily. Don't be afraid. You're sleepy now. I'm Lucifer. Nice to make your acquaintance. Will you chase me and try to eat me alive? Or are you going to mimic everyone I know and tell me what a horrible person I am? Neither. You should watch less TV and maybe even consult with a shrink. The thing is, you've come to a dangerous place. Bloomtown is threatened by demons. I hope there's a church in the town. What's that got to do with me? I think you can save everyone. I will give you the power to do it. If you already have this power, why wouldn't you save everyone yourself? I wish I could, but unfortunately I cannot leave this room. I used to keep the peace of these places. But I fell victim to an insidious plot of vicious villains. And now I am imprisoned beyond reality on the underside. That's why I want to offer you a contract. You will get the power of a personal demon guardian, and in return, you will save the city from demons. Um, I mean, save it to noble home, look up. Hmm. Consent obtained. Contract is concluded. A wise decision. So, where's my pet demon? Is it coming by mail in a box with a bow? Wish you have a good summer vacation. Try to stay alive until our next conversation. Whoa. Well, all right then, we're kind of just... There we go. Crazy dream, huh? Never had a conversation like that in my dreams before. The power to save the town? Yeah, quite an imagination. And where do I have this power? In my little pocket? Oh, well, it's just a dream. Wake up, wake up. Rise to shine, Emily. Did you sleep well? Um... I have a job for you and your brother. Come on downstairs, I'll be waiting. Already? Jeez, I didn't make any time. What is that there on the floor? I can't really tell what that is. Made a fire cannibals, Chester, wake up. Yeah, just a minute. Good morning to you too.
No, oh, that's it. Okay. And then I hear footsteps, the creaking door coming from this room. I think that's where Grandpa sleeps. Another Bloomtown mystery, you say? Hmm. Conflicting work schedules. Yeah, yeah. Okay, time to go down. There's nothing else to do here. All right, kids. Nobody gets a free ride in this house. Everybody has a job. Now go buy a pack of butter at Misery Store. But we're on vacation. It's house rules. As with anything you're not sure about, just ask. Here's the money. Bring back change. Where's Misery Store? Leave the house and go west. Cross the road and head north. Misery's will be just across the road. I got 80 bucks? Or no, 80 cents. Okay. Sure. Now, I'm guessing there's nothing else to do here right now, right? Actually, what is this door? Hmm. Where should we go? How do I know? We only got here yesterday. Then open your map. I don't want to get lost and have to survive in rainwater and worms. Yet yeah, on second thought. Okay. Clues? Buy butter at Misery's. Oh, I say it just takes you. Fast travel is blocked. Okay. This one says to find a painter. Oh, nice. I can run. Yeah, how am I going to find a painter, huh? Can I start, like, taking stuff from people? Calm it down. Hush, hush. I'm already leaving. Why? I'm, I'm, that's not me. Just literally ran all the way over there. Okay. Hold on. Can I take some of these fruit from here? No, I can't really do anything right now still. That's a dead end. I can't walk through the bushes either. Okay, let's just progress the main story right now because I feel like we're still kind of limited on what we can do. Oh, that's history by pressing R. Okay. This is Miseries. Nadine, be quick. It's time for my break. Sorry, sorry. I like, oh, I accidentally mashed that. Sorry. Can I be a chocolate bar too? No, thanks. Mom said to grab only what we absolutely need. Oh, darling. Be a rebel while you're young before you wither away in that garden of yours. Sorry, but who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. Are you serious? No. Um, I'm Chester and she's Emily. We're staying with Grandpa, but he sent us to the store, so here we are. Ah, Coopers, huh? Hello, I was just asked to deliver these seeds to Mr. Cooper. I'm dragging my feet about it because he can be a bit intimidating sometimes. Could you maybe deliver them for me? Sure. We're glad to help. Oh, I'm so envious. Mr. Cooper has a great garden. Well, he would, he would if he only took care of it. Should I invite her? Why don't you come by then? Cooper will surely, will surely send us to tend this garden. Wow, sure, I'll ask for leave at the store and then head straight to you. See you soon. Don't forget your purchases. Oops, sorry. Cooper's parcel. Decide what to do with the seeds. Grandpa Cooper thinks that work is the best kind of vacation. Um, okay, well. A sudden package for Grandpa has fallen on our heads. We have to buy butter. My girl, if you want to become one of those bohemian draftswomen, you're better off forgetting about it. Well, I'm just... There's no place for art, just drugs and promiscuity. It's better to get a real job. I'm not gonna. Get your hat out of your class, girl. Or out of the clouds. You're gonna hit the ground hard. I'm not going to do that. I just want to find a local artist. Ask him one question. Oh, that would be Edward. You can probably find him in the park by the fountain. The park by the fountain. Okay, 30 cents for a butter. Restores 10% of HP. Kitty is sleeping. Huh. Um, okay. Okay, so by the fountain? 
Where the heck is the fountain? The location has not been explored yet. Oh, by choosing like... Oh my god, interesting, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go... Is, is the assumption for that... Um, let's see, where does this take me? Because I can't really tell if that's the map's way of being like, okay, if you go left and that's where it continues off, I'm not really sure. But we'll see. Okay, so like, where am I now? Oh, okay, it is, yeah. Alright, so I need to... He said by the fountain. Hello? Are you an artist? What do you ask? I'm done doing posters and wall art. No problem. If you have the money. How much? Three dollars. I'll need to think about it. Three dollars? I gotta make some money. But I mean, yeah, he's basically there. You only come by in stores, come to the pawn shop, take the one. Okay, well, local girl. Sarah Westfield has been reported missing. She was last seen in central Bloomtown. The heck? Okay. I will say that the game is definitely intriguing. There's a lot of things like you, you're starting to see the world expanding. And you can see like, oh yeah, there's like a lot of things here and there, you know, that you can kind of do eventually like you're seeing quests there's obviously main quest side quest so it's it's really speaking to me i'm digging it the art style is also cool it's um it's it's obviously similar to a lot of different games that you know you that you've probably played in this genre but wait what a candy store and just when grandpa give us some money i'm a grown boy my body requires candy <laughs> you little i mean do i even get any rewards for this he used to the good life and asked for candy. We should check the candy store and get him some candy. Something cheap or better yet, a free sample. Um, can I get a free sample, please? Those are free, but don't go overdo it. Take care of your teeth. Here you go, sweet tooth. Oh yeah, candy's cool. That's it. Give Chester the candy. I already did it. So, like, what do I get for completing these side quests? Oh, no. Gummy bear? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Not worth it. Because now it should be done, right? Y will always show completed quests, which is kind of cool. Okay. It says, buy painting... Buy paints on the canvas from the artist and paint the picture yourself. Buy a painting from an artist. Oh, shoot. Okay. And the package. All right. Uh, where am I? I gotta go down. Okay. We're back, Grandpa. We got everything. You guys are slow as molasses. You bring the change. There's nothing left. We spent everything on your purchase. You didn't say anything about... Ooh, should I try this? What if you fail? Success. Oh. Really? You two think your grandfather has lost his marbles and can't count his own money? Okay, okay. I'll remember your little trick. <laughs> huh. It worked. Okay, got some guts. Now, 
Let's get to the garden. There is work for you two, and no talking your way out of it. Here we are. Grab a rake and sort out those seed beds. Once this place is straightened out, you can run around, play, or whatever it is kids do nowadays. I remember back in the day, I... Oh, whatever. When you're done, come find me in the house. We have to decide what to do with that package. Here's a package for you. Ah, oh, the seeds. Did you see Nadine? Thank you. Now go do some work. Nice. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. Okay. Minus the butter. Cooper's parcel. Clean up the garden. I'd rather rake the ground with this over my bare hands. Whew, job well done. That's only one thing. Oh look, it's another gnome. Oh my god, and we're like in the freaking garage here. Oh my, this reminds me. There was this like really bad freaking Christmas horror movie that um, my my girlfriend and I watched um, last December. I don't know what it was called, but probably something of like gnomes in the garage or some shit like that. It was this freaking movie of these killer gnomes. Um, at first there's like one and there's like one like really nice gnome or something, but then like he befriends the kid or something. But then all the other gnomes are like really, they're basically killers and stuff. It's, it was obviously a bad movie, but like, it was still funny as hell. Like it's, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Somebody can leave a comment about that if you know what the heck I'm talking about. But it was just like this gnome in a garage. I don't know. Hi, you can, or, or a barn. Maybe it was a barn actually, not a garage, but like a barn maybe. Sure, I'm always happy to help. Let's get started. Wow, those are some nice seed beds. Good start. You're going to need seeds. I brought some with me. Here, take them. Just put those seeds in the ground and cover them up. Also, you need to decide whether to fertilize the soil. Fertilizer dramatically improves the results of your labor. Give it a try. Grab some fertilizer and choose which garden bed you'll pamper. Um. Okay. Learn to garden with Nadine. Fertilizer. Okay. How do I... And then what, I water? I only had one fertilizer. Looking good. Now comes the most important part. You have to water your plants regularly or they'll wither. Before you out to do something in a town, always remember to water your garden. Gotta go. That was fun. Thanks a bunch. Have a nice day. Okay. Report to Cooper. You youngsters finished already? Yes, Grandpa, just like you wanted. That'll do. Here, for your help. Your grandfather is no cheapskate. Ooh, I got 20 cents. Wow, this place is growing on me. I just remembered I need dandelions for wine. Half a dozen will be enough. There are a lot of them in the wasteland. Local kids usually wander around that place. Maybe you'll make some friends, unwind a little. The wasteland at the end of the street. Go east and don't turn anywhere. Okay. Let me look at the map just in case. I said at the end of the street. Okay. You got something? It's a great day for gardening today. Any more advice? Try cooking meals with your own vegetables. It's much cheaper. Huh. That's good to know. Okay, we're going to keep going. This is not the wasteland, right? Middle little castle. It's so cute, all the little details like that. You just interact with something and like, yeah. Okay, uh, keep going, all right. 
I mean, it can't be here. If it's saying go east and don't turn anywhere, it means that eventually... We got to the wasteland. Over here? Really? Okay. There are plenty of them here. Wait. Did you say wasteland or wildland? I could have sworn that I read... Okay, maybe I read something different. I don't know. You know, this is actually kind of relaxing. I wanted half a dozen. Emily, Emily. What? Oh no, are y'all bullies or what? Hey, have you ever seen a girl around here? Orange, brown hair? Ask about the missing girl? Oh, shoot. Um, I don't think I should risk it. Will you help us find her? We're gonna help them, right, Emily? But what will we get? Um, yes. What do you want? It's not like we have anything. Well, okay, we have an apple. I heard that, or I heard that clinking in your pocket, so that it's a bunch of nails. 30 cents will cover it. Should I just do apple? This is kind of risky, because 58% is not very good. Damn it. We're not gonna give you our money. How about you give me a receipt for your soul? <laughs> what? I, I just don't... So far I don't understand the game's risk reward. Like, is it is it bad to try this? Like, if I just select this, is this better than trying both these, failing both, and then doing that? Like, will I lose the apple? Maybe, but I'm still gonna go for it. Okay, it worked. Cool. You think you're a comedian? The pastor would punish you for making jokes like that. Did you move here from, some, from Salem or something? Fine, here. I don't believe in any of that stuff. It's finally starting to feel like an adventure. I'm gonna hang out with these guys. All right, I'll have a look around by myself then. I'll tell you if I find anything. I'll check the woods. I'll check about the creek. I'll go over there. I'll check the woods too. Okay. Soul transfer a green? I actually, oh my God, I can't believe that. That should be enough. Yeah, but I think I wanna get more, you know? Like I feel like that's probably a Wait, well, sorry, what the heck? I don't think any, anyone other than Grandpa needs these flowers. Oh. That's the game's way of saying, stop doing what you're doing. Would I get an apple? I mean, <clears throat> it's cool that I'm getting apples. Talk to... What is going on in these quests? What? Hold on. Oh, I see. Okay. Do I have to talk to, like, everybody eventually? No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sure your friend is fine. Damn it. Maybe she just didn't want to be friends with you anymore. I doubt we'll ever find her. She's not like that. Brown hair, freckles kind of short. Hmm. Somebody play with her. Was here in the wild, and that's about it. I like to relax with a lake in the woods. If you haven't been there yet, you should go. There's no trace of her behind the stream. I already talked to her. Okay. So I don't know her too well. You should ask the other kids about her. But that is a lumberjack, and my grandfather too. They want me to be one, but since I'm still too young, they got me working part-time in town. Thought about looking for a job? If not, then don't. Busting your back for pennies, you're better off stealing stuff. Do I just send us for some apples? We can help if you want. We need five. Then already? Let's see. Yep, that's all of them. What was our deal again? Eight cents. I'm not going to count them. All right, here we go. Like we agreed. What? Wait, eight cents? Did I just get a whole dollar? Can you just say eight cents? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question that. In the moment that your prize nears, you fight upstream and face your fears. Plunge your hand 
in the hollow tree and feast on Bloomtown's mysteries. That's kind of creepy. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, all right, what do I do over here? I don't see anyone. She's not here. Sarah? She's all right. She was always up for anything whenever we hang out. Maybe she's hiding at home just to mess with us. Nah, we would have seen her in the window. Well, it's a regular town. I don't know what else to say. It's kind of small, I guess. It's usually quiet here, pretty calm. If anything unusual happens, people talk about it for a month. There's a movie theater, a museum, and a library. And that's pretty much all I can think of. Let's get lucky. No. Guess I'm pretty sure we've looked all over. Hmm. Wow, real tree house. Just like in the photo I found. The people who built it must have grown up already. So it belongs to everyone now. We can hang out here and not be afraid of anything. I can go up there if I want to. Didn't go any further. She's not there. She's my best friend. I know she wouldn't run away for no reason. Please help me find her. I'm so worried about her. They recently put up in the machines throughout Bloomtown. They got all kinds of little snacks. Almost for free. I kept seeing them in nearby towns. I was wondering where to start putting them here. Yeah, bye. There's another note right here. Some kind of riddle? There's a log in a field that you've already found. Next, find a rock, have a good look around. Or just try diagonal left in the bird's eye view. Maybe check over there for a prize fit for you. What? Well, I know about the rock. It was, it's right here, but. You talking about this one? Find upstream and face your, oh, I see. Plunge your hand in the hollow tree. And feast on Bloomtown's mysteries. Hollow tree. This one? Look at the right place. Treehouse key. The key to the question mark. Okay, let me keep getting some apples. These might actually be helpful. You never know with this stuff. Okay, let me look at my quest now. Uh, Grandpa Cooper thinks that work is the best. I just, okay. Uh, what's the next thing on this one? Does it tell me? They're all checked. I'm gonna go inside the treehouse. Well, it should be for here. Let's take a look. Padlock. It's locked. So how do I get inside? I'll ask the locals. They've probably been here. Open the door with the key. What if I try to break it? I'm sure there must be a key somewhere. Hmm. There's a note. What the hell, game? Yeah, seriously. I mean, I assume you get like some kind of points to up your, but I'm not getting real lucky with this stuff. Wow, what a sword. Folks around here play some cool games. I don't want to find the key, so now this thing is mine. Oh, there's something else. I need a little whistle. Hmm, should I blow this whistle? Yes. What the heck? Our door just warped me into the beyond. What the hell? It's so dark. Where am I? Is this a secret passage? Am I inside the tree? No, it doesn't seem like it. I need to get out of here. That is not creepy at all, right? Jeez. Don't come any closer. That's definitely the girl. What the hell? No, no. Stay away from me. What the... Uh Oh, it's the first it's the first battle of the game. Okay, it says melee. What the hell does demon mean? Items. I don't want to do that. What do apples do? Restores 20% of HP and keeps doctors away. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh let's melee. 
20 damage. Ha! You missed. You suck. Do I get experience points from beating this guy? Yes, I do actually. 60. What the heck? It's just a dream. Just a dream. Yeah, this is definitely creepy though. It's like extremely creepy. Wait, you really are real, aren't you? Wait, I don't believe you. No, you're not real. Oh no. Oh, don't mind me, I was just leaving. What well, luck, we have everything ready for you. Don't be afraid, dear. You'll be warm and comfortable. And it's no trouble at all. Bring her to me. <laughs> um... Oh, shoot. I assume... Wait, you... They all keep missing. Is Am I getting lucky or is this intentional? Like, is this scripted? Also, what's this experience like? So you have a guardian. You think that will save you? I have to think about it. What coin? I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, do we are we really gonna flip a coin on this? I will say the humor is sometimes funny. Again, it, it tries a little hard sometimes, but oftentimes it's also funny. What the? Who are you? Oh my head! Where did you come from? From the treehouse, obviously. I fell here straight from hell. Wow, hell! Like boiling cauldrons and demons and stuff. Kind of fifty-fifty. There weren't any cauldrons or lava, but there were plenty of demons. Uh huh. What are you doing up here anyway? Or up there anyway? That place is old. They said there's ghosts. They're right. <sighs> nice to meet you. I'm Ramona. Emily, that wasn't funny. We were looking for one girl and we lost another one. To find a missing girl, you need to think like one. Dang it. If you keep laughing at me next time, I won't spend a whole day looking for you. Listen, sorry to interrupt your family reunion, for you name, but I need to get going. Frank will shot my ear off if I'm late. I'll walk you home. I don't want to hold you up after all. Great, let's hurry up then. Yeah, so during these loading things, the game does save saving. So we're at least good to go. Those moments when it's like saving and stuff, which is nice. But I don't know how to manually save the game. I probably can't. Ramona, this is the eighth time you've been past curfew in the last three months. It's nearly dark out. Did not tell you to be home by 8 p.m. o'clock sharp. Sorry, Frank, it won't happen again. It's our fault. We we got lost and she said she'd show us the way. You're not from around here, are you? I haven't seen you kids before. Where did you come from? Where do you live? We're from Chicago. We're here to visit Grandpa Cooper. Oh, I see. Cooper lives down the street in case you're still lost. People have been disappearing around here. So on behalf of the state police, I recommend you not stay on the street for too long after dark. Now get home. Bye, Ramona. Bye, Ramona. Bye. Let's go for a run, it's already dark. All right, let's do it. You kids go pick dandelions in neighboring state. Everyone should be home at 10 p.m. Good night. What are you still doing here? Well, the dandelions, give them to me. Here, this is for trouble, or for the trouble. I'll forget to give it to you tomorrow. I'll go to sleep and don't be late like that again. 20 more cents. Okay, grandpa, good night. Oh, I gave all of them. Huh. Fall asleep. Yes. Yes, indeed. This game's fun. This game's really fun right now. That's good. Alright. Saving data. I still can't do anything with that. Okay. Okay, so it does save after you wake up every single time, which is good to know. Not now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Answer the phone? Hello? Hi, Emily. This is Ramona. Remember me? Gravitational force was introduced us yesterday. Oh, hi, Ramona. Of course. Yesterday you told me that you saw a ghost in a treehouse. And I just wanted to say, well, basically, if you want to learn more about it, then we could go to the library. I saw an old book there. 
It's about curses, ghosts, demons, all that devil stuff, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to. I was just on my way there anyway. But I'll have to meet you there. Ask your grandpa for directions. He'll explain it better than me. I'll be waiting for you at the spot. When should we meet? Let's say an hour, okay? Got it. What was that all about? Somebody calls my house and it's not even for me? What a life. It was Ramona. She's a girl from the neighborhood. I know who she is. She's Frank's kid. Our local champion of justice. So you met her already. Yes, yesterday. When we went to pick dandelions. We met some local kids. Uh-huh. Okay, you're going for a walk with her? To a library. Oh, don't give Grandpa any of that nonsense. There's no way to get a kid into a library, especially in the summer. I'm telling the truth. Actually, I like books more than people. Well, maybe you really are my granddaughter. Come home when you're done at the library. Today marks the third day of the ongoing police search for Sarah Westfield. Interesting, okay. Um, did I try this again? I mean... No, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's guts, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll just sing up, yeah. That's fine. Okay, so I need to go... Wait, where was it? Did, did, did he even tell me? Hold on a sec. I can't talk to him. Okay. You want to call me I love our libraries where Mona's a good friend of me. Go to the library. Wait a minute. How did I do that? Crafting small cinema. Wildland, Central District. Library is to the left over there. So basically, like, as I'm... Is it because I'm, I haven't entered it yet? Let's see. Can't do this right now. Oh no, it doesn't tell me anything. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, why am I not running? My bad. Saving data. Okay, so a library. This is the library, yes. And I assume that as you explore things, yeah, they're going to pop up more here. Hey, you made it. How could I refuse? You couldn't, but let's get to the point. We need to find a book called The Legends of Bloomtown. We can just ask Mrs. Gray, our librarian. Hello, girls. Whoa. What's the matter? It's like you saw a ghost. Ramona, she's not what she seems, I swear. Don't be silly, it's just good old Mrs. Gray. She used to read Good Night Moon to us when I was little. Okay, maybe I'm just imagining things. Either way, let's get that book. I haven't seen you here before. What's your name? Emily? I'm Miss Gray. Nice to meet you. Now I'll check where your book is. It must be in the hall. Look on the tables. You can take it with you if you want. But in order for me to give you any book to read at home, you need to bring me a note from your local parent or guardian that you can be trusted. Is grandfather appropriate? Of course. Thank you, Miss Gray. You're welcome, honey. I am always happy to help children who seek out knowledge. Perhaps you don't know, on Sundays we have a book club here in the room to the left of the entrance. Be sure to come by. We had children's notices. A baseball field. Huh. Okay, so it says the authorization. 
The legends looks to somewhere in the hall, hopefully on a desk, and hit to dig through those huge shelves. On a desk? I'm just gonna select all these. Oh wait, hold on. What's the part about the ghosts and demons? Do you see anything? I'm looking. There, look. A blue dragon and a walking tree stuff. I fought them. There's a lot of blank space here, like the author wanted the reader to fill in part of the book. That's a good idea. Mrs. Gray gave us permission to check it out. We'll write down everything we learned. Good idea. First, let's read it. So it's saying any of us could have a demon inside that's slowly devouring us alive? Yeah, you're lucky if all it does is make you not brush your teeth every day. Damn. Sounds too much like a fairy tale. You can't believe everything you read, right? Right. Let's look for evidence of Sarah's appearance. If we find demons and the book is true and you're not crazy. Sounds like a win-win to me. I won't send you a mental asylum. You got my word. I try to eavesdrop on Frank, find out what evidence the police found, then I'll call you. Sounds good. I need to get home now. Grandpa asked me to come by. I'll be waiting for your call. Okay. Is that like all there was to explore, I suppose? I mean, I guess, yeah. Hmm, I still can't, yeah, that was $3 for that other thing. That other quest that I definitely can't do yet. If one of our books are for free, I have to bring a note for a local relative back to grandfather again. It feels like I need to try to be friends with him. Hmm, okay. Sure. I'm almost out of time for this video, by the way. I'm almost at the one hour mark. Yeah, so in case you don't know, generally for my Let's Play videos, you know, my playthroughs, I tend to make the videos around... 55 minutes to just under an hour. You know, getting a full solid hour of content per video. That's pretty good. Uh, what am I doing? Sorry, I have to go down. What the heck? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess those locations will all eventually be shown on the map. Okay, so we're the second home. The hell? You don't have to tell me, pal. Even price of the stock is getting tougher. I'm talking about pain that won't go away. Oh, you might also. You need an assistant, pal, and some peace. You know, you might be right. It seems like the time has come. Oh, and look who we have here. My granddaughter, Emily. She'd make a fine assistant. Hi, Emily. I'm Mr. Lovely. Would you like to come work for me? I strongly advise you agree. I won't be giving you and your brother any pocket money. Hmm. Should I do it? My shop is in the central district, left of the pawn shop, north of the museum. Come see me. We'll discuss your duties, the hours, and your salary. It was lucky I came by. Thanks, Scoop. Thank you, young lady. See you, buddy. Goodbye, Mr. Lovely. See you, pal. I'll get it. Please do. I don't want to talk to anyone else right now. Hello? Ramona? Yeah, hey. I heard Frank on the walkie-talkie during lunch. The police finished questioning everyone, and Sarah's little brother isn't saying a word. They're saying it's shock, and they're waiting for a psychologist from the county office to come. They're keeping an eye on him. I heard he hangs on a playground at the suburbs. That might work. Where is he? How can we find him? They're keeping an eye on him. I heard he hangs out on the play playground in the suburbs. Wait, didn't you just say that? Okay. okay. Um, oh yeah, could you write me a note? Check out books, you say. All right, maybe that'll help you learn a thing or two. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it, Grandpa. Um, okay, I can go get a note. So, I have to... I'm gonna, okay. Wait, that's actually... That's to the right, huh? I have to end the video here, though. So, yeah. Alright. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.